So you drive a Skoda Fabia like this one, but you would like to go to a track day and be faster than the guys in the Lamborghini. Is it possible? Well, I'm about to find out. Because today I'm gonna be driving this. This amazing formula car that was actually built in just one year in that guy's garage. Hi guys, my name is Otakar and today I paid one, almost 1000 euros to drive that awesome formula car for one hour. And the day starts amazingly with some Porsches, a Mustang parked over there. And here we have a guy that is a race car driver, but he really wishes he was just a football player, apparently. Um, kind of strange. There is a tractor that's already cleaning the parking lot. Now the track is already clean, so the parking lot needs to be cleaned as well, I suppose. All right, and there it is, the Skoda Fabia. It is everywhere in Czech Republic and that is where the engine comes from uh, in the formula car that I'm gonna be driving. Somebody took an engine from the Skoda Fabia and built this. Look at it. This is the engine. It is very ancient. It is a 1.4 liter four-cylinder engine. And as you can see, there is nothing else obviously left from a car. It doesn't even have a starter. The starter motor is separate like this. And uh, <laughs> there has to be a guy with a battery pack and sort of connected to the engine externally to start it. Or in my case, it's gonna be after push started when I started the driving. The formula is it's a beautiful work i can't imagine that the guy built it just in a year designed it all by himself made everything by himself apparently it's his own design there's only one like this in the whole world he didn't make more of them but my main concern is whether i'm gonna fit and the answer is no in fact i will have to drive the car without a seat it's supposed to have a trash bag seat just like my car but i don't fit so I will be sitting straight on the metal floor and on the metal gas tank. I'm not gonna have any side support. I'm just gonna be held in by the seat belt around my neck. So comfortable it is not gonna be, but at least it's gonna be possible. So as you can imagine, I'm not terribly thrilled about that as I slide into the car, which is extremely tight because I am pretty tall. So. Yeah, driving most of the race cars is a problem, even though this one has adjustable pedals. I fit just, I just fit. It's just possible to drive. It is extremely uncomfortable. And of course, it's difficult to feel what the car is doing when I'm not, uh, when I don't have a seat. So that is going to be very interesting. Oh, what's also going to be very interesting is to change gears because the gearbox uh, it's completely different than what you are used to and uh, I will explain later because now it's time to put the helmet on and as you can imagine I am quite nervous the car is beautiful but there are a lot of new things for me uh, and it's not gonna be super easy as you are about to see all right so as you can imagine i'm at my most nervous at this moment i'm getting the last instructions which are pretty much don't crash it please don't crash it be careful don't crash it and uh yeah in just a few moments i'm gonna be push started and let's hope it all goes well That could have been smoother. <laughs> it's just that under 2000 RPMs the engine just doesn't go at all. Okay, let's get on the track and let's be careful. The tires are completely cold, so let's not do anything too crazy as I go into this first turn. Whoopsie! Yeah, I went a little bit too crazy for those cold tires. But, well, let's, let's go and... Ah! Ah, yeah, the shifting. The 
shifting pattern is completely different than any other car. And here I go, there is a Skoda Fabia, sort of the car that this Formula car was born out of. And let's continue the first lap. I already got overtaken because I have no idea what I'm doing. My tires are cold. Yeah, the shifting. Guys, the shifting is just, it's so confusing because where there normally would be a first gear in a manual car, there is fifth or there is second. There is, I think it was sixth, where there would be third, there is like a fourth. You know, it's just a massive confusion. And I'm really worried that I'm gonna shift wrong and explode the engine. So I'm taking it very easy. But soon as I get more comfortable with the car, the first overtakes come. And there was a Honda Civic. Now, of course, one of the slowest cars on the track today, the Lamborghini. Now, let's go for a BMW. A beautiful BMW overtaken. I'm not feeling very confident with the shifting, but the car, guys, it behaves amazingly. There's another BMW overtaken or passed. Of course, there is no racing per se. It's a track day, so everybody just lets you go if you are faster. And there was a Mustang. Awesome, was faster than a Mustang. And there is another. What is this? Ah, uh, it's... Ooh, there, there is some smoke coming out of it. I think it's a BMW. Of course, BMW, most of the cars on track days are gonna be BMWs because they are absolutely amazing to drive fast and there it is you know what it's looking great guys there was more smoke coming out of it I don't know what's going on that was a little bit strange but let's keep pushing and this is a proof that you can go on a track day with absolutely anything and there is a Skoda Felicia I think it is it's even older than the Fabia that this formula has the engine from and look at that awesome there is a NASCAR so there is a NASCAR and a Skoda Felicia together on the track at the same time and what do I overtake now Civic ah the shifting again um, uh, <laughs> ah that, that, that was really bad I was passing him and then I didn't manage to shift all right well I will, I will have to go for it again. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That was uh, that was embarrassing. All right, now, well, I go for it again. And the Civic is behind me. It is behind the homemade Formula car. I Guys, I just can't believe that this car is homemade. And I, <laughs> I caught up with the Lamborghini again. In one session, I passed it two times with, yeah, another... Um, another time that I was, <laughs> wasn't able to shift uh, properly, but that doesn't matter because the Lamborghini is super slow. I'm actually wondering who had a better lap time with this Lamborghini or that Skoda Felicia. Well, I mean, driving something that expensive is intimidating. And yeah, I'm passing the Lamborghini for a second time. That is amazing. And that was that. I mounted the camera really badly, so I would have more interesting footage if I had the camera a little bit higher, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but guys, it was amazing, I love this formula car, it's super nice to drive, it's so easy to tell what's happening with the car, and even without the seat, I was feeling pretty confident with it, the shifting is not bad at all it's just a matter of getting used to it and learning how to do it but once you learn it's absolutely no problem at all the car is amazing of course to rent it it's not very cheap because yeah it was uh, almost a thousand dollars to rent it for just one hour of driving but it is totally worth it it was great I have a huge respect for the car and for the guy that made it just in one year in his garage. It doesn't look like something made in a garage at all. The finish of everything, the sophistication of the suspension and everything else is just... Uh, it's incredible. 
and uh, I really hope that I will get to drive this car again, maybe next year, if you like this video, maybe I will be able to afford it to, to drive it again, and hopefully mount the camera better next time, and uh, yeah, that was it guys, it was incredible, I absolutely loved it, and uh, I will see you in the next video.